Where's your Mount Rushmore of coaches? That's a good question. Okay, good, good. That's a good question. Bill Belichick is already the greatest coach in NFL history. I think uh, he's clearly, the, the, you know, what he's done, how he's adapted and adjusted to the times with the free agency. It's amazing. And, and wins with, with white midgets playing <laughs> wide receiver. That's what he's done. He's been winning with white midgets. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Bill Belichick, you put him at, as number one or number two greatest coach? I got Belichick one. I got Lombardi two. I got, you got to put Chuck Noll in there. You got to go Bill Walsh. And then it's tough one, but I squeeze Rich Kotite last. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, <laughs> no, I, uh, I, <laughs> imagine that. I got, I got, yeah, you go, you go serious. You go four serious and I'd be like, I'll tell you I what. Got I got Chad Daly, <laughs> Richie Kotite. I got Charlie Weiss up there, eight, <laughs> top eight. <laughs> All right, well, who do you got? Uh, you, you're, I, I'm going to trust your opinion more than I Exact same list. And I, we're talking four, right? Isn't Mount Rushmore four? No, you can four? do five. We'll do five. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm Belichick. Um, you know, he's going to have six wins in the, in the Super Bowl mm -hmm. after this, this next week. Is that a tell? Uh, a tell? Lombardi, obviously pre-Super Bowl era, but un unbelievable what he did. Chuck Knoll, I mean, again, Chuck Knoll was kind of like the Belichick of his era because he took guys that weren't superstars and made them, made them household names. Bill Walsh, obviously, he had the glamour kind of team. And then Don Shula. Don Shula didn't get it done in the big-time big, big time games, but, I mean, as far as winning games, he won a lot of regular season games. I'm going to go with Lombardi, number one, Belichick, two, Landry, three, Shula, four, Chuck Noll, five. That You're segueing me great to the Italian side of the panel, I want to ask. Of this list, Lombardi. is Lombardi the best leader of men on this, on this Mount Rushmore? Well, yeah, but you, you see... Absolutely. And his greatest Lombardi and Belichick probably are great leaders, but they did it very, very differently. Well, you, you also have to look at the quality of man that was playing in the NFL back then. They were men back then. The, the, what we have now, and, and it's no disrespect because we, we still refer to them as kids, right? Yeah. 27 year old kid. Yeah. These were guys that literally were storming the beach at Normandy and then came to play football. Right. Well, so, and, and you when know, football was over. They went and pumped gas. They absolutely. were mechanics. They, they were mechanics. They had all kinds of they they had had families. Jobs. They were bagging groceries. Ba factories, you know. So th these were real men that, that Lombardi was coaching. Um, but they were more disciplined. They weren't like the, the, the kids you see now. Like, yeah. you know, the. They, they weren't overpaid. They weren't. Um, they were about production. They not, weren't not like, about well, who are we show. talking about? The quarterback with his own chef? We're Cousins. About, Cousins. Yeah, like Kirk, you know, these quarterbacks. They, these were guys that were like, look, I'm going to get the job done. You know, like even right. Roger Staubach was a war hero. Brady has his own chef. But that's a good question that Alex makes because it's like leaders of men. Like every time Belichick talks, it sounds like he's doing like a seminar on accounting. You're not in Seriously. it. Right. You know, he's mumbles. He's talk. He's quick. He's just got that, as a matter of fact, do your job or we're going to ship you out and get somebody to do your job. But when Lombardi talked, you're like, dude, I'll storm the beach for that guy. <laughs> Like, I'll, I'll run through a wall for that guy because he has that motivational, we're going to win, and, you know, it, but I, and he's Italian, which makes him a little better for, than anything. And he's from Jersey. But, like, well, you know, like, when he's like, what the hell's going on out here? You know? <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's go. But yeah. we don't know what Belichick does behind closed doors with his team because he won't show it. That, that's true. Um, but the, another argument for Shula is he coached two teams. He, you know, he's a coach of the Colts. And then he took the Dolphins, you know, that undefeated season, which that was – I researched this. I think the Dolphins only played two teams in the regular season with over a 500 record. Mm. But the playoffs back then, they didn't have home field advantage. I think they beat Oakland in Oakland or the Steelers in Steelers to get to the Super Bowl. Um, she has got 347 overall wins. But he, he's the winningest coach, right? None of you guys have him. But I, I like your point. I have him. I have him in the end. We both have him. Yeah. Shula. We both have Shula in the, in the top. Yeah, but technically Rushmore's four. You got him fifth. What are you, what are you doing? No. I have you haven't even asked four. me my four. He's on my list. I have Null at five, and here's why I have Null at five. Because he didn't – what defense and offense did he innovate? Was, I mean, he, he had one of the greatest dynasties in NFL history, which also makes me wonder, you know, why nobody ever brings up Terry Bradshaw when you're talking about great quarterbacks. Um, Shouldn't Bill Walsh be over Shula? I don't think so, no. Bill Walsh, I mean, again, created the West Coast. Yeah, I've got offense. Walsh for Created the West Coast. I would probably put I would probably put Walsh over Null. Walsh's coaching tree is better than anybody in the history of the NFL. Oh, look at Tom Landry's coaching tree, my man. I'm not denouncing Landry. Mm -hmm. I'm just pro Anybody Walsh. else have Gene Stallings on their coaching tree? Didn't think so. It, Alex, I think we should just top, what's your I, technically I'm going Lombardi in order. On, hold on. Technically Lombardi's on Landry's coaching tree. Yeah. No, but it's not successful. 
I just, I just threw not that out of my, I pulled that out of my butt. <laughs> Who? Nick Saban? No, he's not successful in the NFL. Nope. No. 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 Belichick's no. coaching tree is you. Neither is Charlie Weiss. Neither is Romeo Cornell. Neither is Josh McDaniel. <laughs> you love this. Neither is Eric Mancini. <laughs> Loves neither. it. I'm just, I'm just stating facts. Those are just facts. They were That's all so coaches for Belichick that did not. Dude, I'm curious. What Shula's coach? coaching? Which may make Bill Parcells. Somewhere in between That's, five you know to ten. What? Somewhere between five to ten. You, you guys know uh, Nick Saban know. dated my aunt for years? <laughs> yeah, we knew that. No, we knew just that. I'm that kidding. was on Google. Alex, what's your Mount Rushmore? Wait, I'm going, I'm going in order of, of, of wins. I'm assuming Belichick gets a sixth, and then I would go Lombardi US five, and then okay. I would go with, I'm going to go Chuck Noll, four, and then I'm going to go Walsh.